the uh, breaker panel that's on the inside underneath the uh, counter on the other side of this wall right here used to was bolted right to that beam right there and it was weatherproof and it sat right there and all the circuits went everywhere from right here I put it on the inside on the other side of that wall fed from right there and, and rerouted all the circ uh, branch circuits into the new location I'm an electrician so I know how to do that and it came out really really nice I like this way better and then to feed it it, the guy had this really funky, he had this big cable, and I used to have to climb up underneath, it was a twist lock, I literally would have to climb underneath this thing on my back. Well, I did away with that. I put the thing on the inside where it belonged, and I put uh, a power inlet right here and a cable inlet, and the cable runs up on this three-quarter inch EMT to an omnidirectional antenna. Now I, I, that comes off when I'm on the road. I just take that off and I drop this down so that this right here is flush with this and the top is flush also. And, and these are mineral -like straps. There's another one up there. And I just leave that uh, pipe there when I'm on the road. It's not in the way or nothing. It's on wing nuts. I put the, uh, this uh, power jack on. That's really nice. And, and I put uh, all new cable on. And uh, the uh, uh, electric brakes, they didn't, use, they didn't work. They're tied into the AGM battery inside. And uh, I don't have a separate battery for them. I don't need one. I just got it tied into that. When I'm going down the road, the AGM battery is tied in with the charging system on the truck, so it's charging while I'm driving. And then when I get where I'm going, I, you know, I, I plug it in on the inside. You know, unplug the truck, of course. And and when I when I have shore power, the generator, it uh, charges the AGM battery. I put an AGM battery in there because they don't off gas. You're going to have a, a battery inside your camper. It needs to be an AGM. You, can, you don't want something that off gases, and because uh, that's a hazard. And these are the uh, chain brackets for my Anderson um, a weight distribution and sway kit, and they work really good. They're worth they're expensive, but I had to chop this down because it's a short tongue tra uh, trailer, and I had to cut down the chain to the minimum that they recommend but I did that and it works now in the future I thought about running like across here and across here some uh, three-quarter inch uh, stainless uh, uh, unistrut and then I got a bracket that a propane tank will fit right in that'll bolt to that and uh, but I haven't had to do that I don't really have any you know, like a built-in stove or oven or all that stuff, heat or any of that crap. I don't have any of that, so I just use the small propane tanks you can buy at Walmart. If I ever need one, that's what I'll do, though. But so far, anyways, this is my XM Sirius antenna. I ran it down, and I knocked a hole out right there, and I run my cable in to the inside. So, uh... I have an XM uh, radio base. I can put it in inside, and I and I got XM radio. I got Sirius. I can listen to uh, Bluesville. <laughs> of course, that's my kayak. I ain't got no place else to put it right now because I got my camper set up. I usually keep it in the camper, but it'll fit in there, perfect. When I go on a trip. I can go on a kayak fishing trip in uh, Florida here and camp out somewhere and go kayak fishing. I haven't done that yet because of Corona. Um, the guy I bought it off of had put the awning on it, but the material was rotten. So uh, I bought this material and I got the race checkered. I like that. And um,
normally I have um, a rug that I put out and I got all the accoutrements that any, everybody has for camping I just got it next to the house right now I'm not going to set it all out just to make this video and uh, on the back side um, I have an outlet up underneath here so uh, right back here underneath uh, you can maybe see it and uh, it's 110 volt so like when I'm setting out at night I can plug in you know I have an extension cord and I can put lights along here and uh, I usually put a light out either on the fender there or table and stuff so I got a radio in it and uh, that's the only window that's in this thing and you can see real close that's where the, the Wi-Fi is sticking out right there and uh, the Roku if I keep this thing I think I'm going to uh, put a big window in right here that would be nice and also this thing only sets 12 inches off the ground it's got no ground clearance you know and uh that's a problem it hasn't i haven't bottomed out or anything but if i want to start going off road uh it's going to be a problem so i think i'm probably going to uh, i can't remember which column but uh it raises the axle up. It raises the whole thing up. Um, it, um, different heights. But I think I'm going to put it on this thing. And it makes it, the wheels look kind of weird because the, the uh, wheel well sets higher. The whole thing raises up off the axles higher. But I need that. Now I kind of want to start doing some off-road. My truck right now will pull this no problem, even with the motorcycle in it. I got a 2000 Silverado 5.3 liter, and it pulls it no problem. Uh, but I'd like to get something where 4x4, my next vehicle is going to be a 4x4, because I'd like to jack this thing up and start boondocking out west. And uh, on the back, uh, this, of course, this is the whole ramp. The whole thing drops down, you know. And uh, but I had a lot. Of, I didn't have any. I had a lot of rust on this. Didn't have any cancer rust all the way through. But I had some pretty serious pitting, and yeah, especially along the lip right here. This is and this is the first camper I've ever had like this. Uh, cargo trailer. Like I said, I didn't know what a fad they were when I bought this. I didn't know how lucky I was to find this thing and get it. Hallmark, it's an old Hallmark, Hallmark from 2010, before the company was bought out and they started cheaping everything out. This thing's built like a tank. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. And it's got a 13.5K AC on the roof too. And that was, and it's insulated, all that was done by the previous owner, the original owner. Anyways, what I did is I took all the, insul the uh, seal off I, I sanded it down, I ground it until there was no rust left, and I put Osfo wherever I knew, mostly along here, and repainted it, Rust-Oleum, and then put new uh, uh, a seal around the whole thing. So, uh, and, I, and I also had to cut up underneath and do a little bit up under there too. But you know, for a uh, 10 year old cargo trailer, it's never been, it worked like a cargo trailer. It's always been a camper. The guy I bought it off of. He, uh, you can see I got a RV. I put an RV outlet right next to my house here. It's plugged in. And, uh, but when I'm on the road, I can use my generator. I got a Predator and it works real well. Even with the AC running. And, uh, why I got a 3500 watt generator because you really need one if you got an AC. Of course, this thing's got regular RV door handle on it too. The original owner did that. 
and uh, that's uh, everywhere most of the places I've been I got a lot of empty space to fill up <laughs> and this is um, a screen I put up and uh, it works really well and it, instead of getting like one of those fold-out steps that I thought of I bought this it's really nice it's aluminum it won't rust the, the, the legs fold back up into it when you want to stow it and it's nice man I just wipe my feet on it and step right in yeah. and uh, porta potty and uh, there's the AC and it has a heat strip in it too it gets like real real cold doesn't do a whole lot but then I break out my buddy heater and crack the window open and uh, there you go for watching. Okay, here we are up underneath the counter. This is my uh, equipment center. That's the panel that was outside on the uh, tongue. That's my AGM battery. That's my battery charger, and it runs up and feeds uh, this AB switch to a fuse block low voltage center, which feeds all my low voltage stuff. This is the cable coming in. Uh, this is a pot amplifier right there for the cable, and it plugs into this power strip. This is uh, amplifies the uh, TV signal. It works pretty good. Plus, uh, this area right in here, I purposely left open, as well as this area over in here. Because one of these two areas, if I keep this thing, I'm going to uh, use that for um, my solar. Uh, I'm probably going to put as I did over here, which is where my power and cable comes in, probably around the same area, maybe over here from the outside, I'm going to put a, uh, a solar panel uh, inlet and come in here and, and uh, probably put another, at least another AGM battery. Uh, and um, have an inverter here. And uh, this is where that's going to be staged. This is how I got water. I'm sorry for the vibration, but uh, this is the best I can do. So anyways, I have uh, five gallons of fresh, five gallons of gray. And this goes up into my low voltage pump, which is powered from that. And, uh, and it pumps water into this sink I got at Home Depot. It goes uh, out of the sink and down into this, okay? I saw this online, I can't remember the name of the guy. I'll post it, give him a shout out. I got an idea from him. I just cut a piece of PVC and it drops down into the bottom and then you drill holes in the bottom and you run your hose down in through that because if you don't, the hose will just come and just kind of like wind up or something. This way it keeps it all the way down. It works really good. As soon as I figure out who that guy was, I'll give a shout out and mention it. Putting this counted sink in was a real challenge. And I never done anything like that before. After going through all the work to uh, cut out this countertop out of one piece of plywood, then I had to cut this out and I was fortunate I didn't measure it at the time, but I was fortunate that my supports on that side and on this side uh, did not get in the way of the sink. I got that sink at Home Depot. Now, the switch for this runs along over here and up and goes up 
into this switch box right here. And uh, it looks counterintuitive, that switch right there on the right hand side. Um, it, uh, you'd think it's for a light, but it ain't. And this is the best I could do. I figured it was going to be temporary, but temporary is turning out to be permanent. Okay, and this is the top. This is the sink I was just telling you about. I, I built this whole countertop, all right, by hand. Never did anything like that before. And uh, came out really nice. I'm really proud of how it came out. Oh yeah, and this is my microwave. This is how it's set up when I'm camping. Okay, got my refrigerator. This is awesome. It's, uh, I bought this because I like the size of the freezer. Man, I can get a lot of food in there. And it's got a lot of space for food and beer, soda. Okay, and then I, I put bungees from here to here on these little eyes when I'm on the road, down here too, there to there. Keep the doors from coming open. Of course, the microwave and nothing's on the counter. That's all down over here. Okay, I put my my good cooler, the microwave on top of it, and I strap it down. I've got a cart that I put my generator on. I'll go over that later, but all that's like right here, strapped down real good. And uh, there's nothing on the counter when I'm going down the road, okay? Anyways, uh, that's the base for the XM I was telling you about. The antenna goes out, and I can put my radio that's in, normally in my truck. I put it right there, in there, and it works good. Okay, and uh, like I said, this is for uh, the water pump. And uh, the power for the light, all I do is I put an LED over. And this works out so well, I was, put, <laughs> I was just gonna use it Temporarily, while well, I made my trip out west to Sturgis and Yellowstone last year, but I liked it so much, I think I'm just going to leave it that way. And these are magnets; they hold it reasonably well. I put a bungee across here when I'm on the road, and it works good. All right, and then here, uh, storage is king, man. When you're on the road, that's my AC running; it works really good. And. Uh, that's my full-size bed when I'm set up that's how I got it and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cabinet right here where it originally was I'm going to put it under this cabinet right here you know so you know I'll have a lot of cabinet space right there and this will free this up because like when I'm sleeping you got to be able to sleep your head both ways so you know if you're not level one way or the other you can sleep with your head the other you don't want your head sleeping upside down or down you know so anyways by taking this out and I'll probably buy another one of these and put it here because man storage the more storage you got the better off you are anybody who's been on the road will verify that and uh and you know, I mean, I just got these things up here for now, the Route 66 and Daytona. I'm probably gonna put a mirror right here because when I was on the road, I, I was, I'd clean up in the morning, brush my teeth, and it would be nice to have a mirror right here. I put a couple of, uh, I put a light, one of those push button lights right there. I'll probably put some more. When I put another one of these over there, I'll probably put another one under that for a reading light. And, uh, and like when I'm on the road, you know, I, I bring the bike in on this side right here, and I have a Condor uh, uh, wheel lock that bolts to the floor right here. And uh, that's where I put my bike. This gets undeflated, and I put a single mattress right here, okay? So when I'm on the road, I'm using the single mattress, because you ain't gonna pull the bike out every time you pull it a Walmart, you're just staying overnight and you're gonna hit the road first thing in the morning. You're not setting up camp every single time. So, you know, and, uh, but when I do set up camp, this is the way it's set up. And uh, I can put another Condor 
right here and this is where I hang my coats and stuff you'll see a lot of this on my other video what I'm explaining to you and I put a TV in here this works good it's a little 12 volt and 120 volt TV right now because I'm at home I can put my uh, Roku I can stick this outside the window and uh, I pick up my Wi-Fi from the house my little window this put this thing needs more light though you know it's uh, it's got a DVD player works really good it's 1080p and yeah, the sound system kind of sucks that's why I got these playing cards taped to it you know they're down firing so it fires the sound more towards you the sound bar would be nice and uh, but it works good you can see I ran my cable because I ain't gonna tear the wood off I ain't gonna tear the wood off to run this thing underneath I'm just gonna do it neat I ran the cable all the way along here and it comes out right there plugs right into the TV now I'm gonna do the same thing I don't have uh, 12 volts over here so I'm gonna run off that 12 volt load center underneath I'm gonna run white and I'm gonna run it nice and neat and I'm gonna run it the same way I'm gonna put come over here I'm gonna put a box somewhere over here maybe right in here somewhere I had just a regular outlet right there I can just plug it in like it's supposed to like a cigarette lighter and that's what I'm gonna do and uh, be nice to run it all the way down and have it down in here somewhere because I want to put a table a fold down table right here a fold up probably table right now I just use whatever I got so it's got this light that's my main light for the place and over the kitchen and when it, and I can cook right here I got all kinds of space I put a coffee pot right there plug it into my power and this is this switch is for the AC because before that didn't have one I have to crawl up underneath to turn the AC on and off and I ain't doing that so anyways I can put my uh, my cooking my camp stove here my propane and I can cook right there and uh, so yeah and the lights of course like I said that turns that off and then I've got uh, these two lights I changed them out to LED, double LEDs they were single at first and this switch right here turns them both on and off all right and uh, so I leave it on and I can turn them off individually like that you know I prefer that I usually leave it like that but you know, like I said these were just single incandescent lights and I swapped them out for double LEDs and I hunted I think I got them at Lowe's or Home Depot they were two watt the brightest ones I could find they weren't cheap but I got a lot more light and uh, when I ain't using those, I can turn this switch on. This switch right here is for the LED light outside. Okay, and this one is for the LED lights inside. The previous owner did all this. Turn these on, and they're not going to come on. Okay, there we go. Uh, I had that backwards. Anyways, the previous owner did these, and I liked them so much, I decided I was just going to leave them. The ballast for these are up inside behind here. I don't like that. He's got like exposed kind of wire, kind of 120 volt. But I like him. I, he was an electrician, and uh, also, so he didn't do a half bad job. But these are nice mood lights. If you if you turn these other ones off, it's not. It looks nice in here. <laughs> it's like a disco, man. <laughs> I will say though that when you're on the road and you got a bike in here, and you just got a single air mattress. Plus my generator, my generator I usually have tied to the front of, I got a Predator generator. I got it tied to the front of the Condor Wilchock and I got no room. I got just enough room up front here to put a chair, you know, and my coolers over here and all that, and, you know, and you've got no living space. And I will be honest with you, man, you just get tired of having no space. You know, it's like until you finally get where you're going and you want to stay there for a few days and you can set up camp, then uh, then it's nice. And I suspect all toy haulers are like that, even the bigger ones, because if it takes up your living space, 
then you ain't going to be comfortable, you know. And uh, but you know, it, the price is worth it. I can take my bike with me when I want. Also, I uh, wanted to point out that uh, I installed these outlets. It's a double duplex. This is wire mold. It worked really well. Uh, it's self-adhesive. I didn't put any screws in, and it works real well. So I ran it, um, did a 90 there, came up, did a 90 there, then I ran it over. You can see that the cable's right up underneath it, behind uh, the bug screen. I ran over here, down to this double duplex, and uh, and once again, that's the uh, switch. That's actually, it's not a light switch, it's a switch for the pump for this. Um, I may, in the future sometime, put it like right here, and just use that as an outlet, but I just let it go for now. Then I drop down in, and uh, let me turn the light on. And I came down in right here, and I notched the, the, the countertop. And underneath, the Romex came out, and the Romex runs. The Romex runs goes up right there comes in to this box and originally I was going to put that light right here but this sink was an afterthought and then I didn't have enough room with it this was already there I had to take the light off I wasn't going to pull new Romex so I just put the cover on this and made it a junction box and ran it down there and put another one box like this down there with a light fixture on it down here the Romex comes in into here and on the breakers okay another piece a Romex goes up right there on that side and that comes in right here and uh, I've actually got two circuits in here one's for the AC okay and uh, so the switch just comes up and back down. That's a switch for the AC. Then I've got an outlet right here. And uh, and that continues on the same circuit. It runs over top these uh, cabinets. And it comes down. And I got another outlet right there. I probably should have double, put a double duplex, but I always can. I didn't put anything back further, and uh, I can if I want. So, uh, there you go.